Hi guys, it's Brent Marshall here from Smart Membrane Solutions. The purpose of this video is to illustrate to you our membrane removal toolkits. Over the years, we've been selling membrane accessories to the dairy, food and beverage sectors. And we've noticed concern is raised around how to service them and get the membranes out safely and how to make this job easier. To do that, we've come up with some really smart tools. Uh, you'll see some illustrations shortly which show you how to get the end caps in and out of a membrane pressure vessel, how to safely take ATDs and blank end plugs off, and how to also pick out membranes that are really, really hard to get out. Okay, firstly, let's have a quick look at what's in the membrane removal toolkit, shall we? The first item is the ATD removal tool. This tool's been designed with adjustable legs so that you can set up this tool to be able to remove many different suppliers ATDs. The next part is the end cap removal tool. This plate is used to jack out the end caps in combination with the extractor screws. We have three different extractor screws, M10 thread, a quarter inch UNC thread, or an M6 thread. So depending on which housings you have in your plant will depend on which one of those you use in combination. The next thing we have, we have four push rod tools to enable you to be able to remove and push out up to five elements. The, the push rod has an end cap which screws on just like that. It has a bit of bumpy plastic on the outside to prevent you scratching the pressure vessels. On the other end we have the handle. That just screws on the other end. And then you're ready to push out your first membrane. In situations where the membranes get jammed up and you can't push them out, we have these umpy blocks with hydraulic lip seals to be able to hydraulically push them out. It comes with a little rubber bung to aid that process and you'll see how this is illustrated in the video. We also have a smaller 6.3 inch Humphy block for the UF vessels as well. There's a little blank end plug removal tool. And finally, we have our end cap compression tool. This enables you to safely compress your end caps back in to put your retainer plates in. Okay, to use the blanking plug removal tool, we just put the keyway on the plug, pop it down, lever it out, nice and easy. Okay, to extract ATDs, the first thing to make sure of is to wind forward your ATD extracting shaft so there's enough distance to get through the ATD. The next thing to take care of is to make this click. Make that click and hold it down, put the tool in, all the way in, then start unwinding it. As you unwind it will anchor itself on the ATD shaft. Feel the pressure come on and then it's slowly extracting the ATD out. And there you have it. Nice and simple. Take the ATD off, make it click again, pop it off. Now we can extract the end cap out of the housing. Use the jacking plate. And this thread here is an M6 thread, suitable for these holes. You just put them together like that, screw this into one of the holes, do the nut up, grab yourself a three quarter inch spanner, and you'll see the end cap will start to ease out. This is just simply jacking them out. Nice 
nice and easy. Okay, let's show you how the compression tool works. Membrane's in, ready to go. Let's get the feed end plate in. Got to position it best you can. The compression tool has adjustable arms, so you just want to slip that in here, pull the sides in evenly, and then slowly wind it in. A lot easier than using hammers. Once it's in, you just release it. Simple as that. It's now ready to put your retainer plates or your retainer shim springs in. Put your lugs back on, you're good to go. Okay, let's demonstrate how to pick out a stuck membrane. First of all, you've got to make sure the membrane's gone past the outlet port to the width of the, the pig. You put the pig in with the lip seals facing this way. We always recommend to do this from the permeate outlet end of the vessel. So you stick the pig in, make sure it pushes past the outlet port. We put the bung in to seal the stop the liquid bypassing. We then grab the, the permeate outlet port. We stick that in. Again, just position it best you can. Grab your compression device, equal from both ends, compression it in, wind it in. That's in nice and firm, you've got a good gap there now for your retaining plate. You should then put your shim plate back on. We'll put the water blaster connection on. Now the end of this goes to a little domestic water blaster. We highly recommend you just use a very small 7 to 10 litre per minute water blaster so it's very slow gradual purge out of the vessel and you may want to put some safety devices on for pressure release as well. We don't actually supply these fittings because uh, every customer has a different type of water connections and water blasters so we do have some written uh, recommendations on how to do that and they're available on our website.